Welcome to Reynolds Razorback Stadium, where they have been calling the Hogs since early in the morning in anticipation of this showdown we have coming. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. The top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see, the number 10 team in the country, the Auburn Tigers, taking on another team from the SEC, the Arkansas Razorbacks. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Razorbacks will kick it away to start. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Tigers' offense takes the field to start this game off. And here comes this quarterback. This entire offense is built around him. He is the engine of the entire team. I mean, he's the leader. He's the alpha. Everybody looks towards him. He's been doing it all year long. Everybody believes in this young man. Big opportunity, big stage. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And the Tigers get it past the sticks. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Robinson will throw. He's got his man. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to run for it. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure. It's a first down. The Tigers are moving quickly down the field. Caught in the backfield. It's Coleman. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. He's looking to throw. Quick completion on the out route. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Auburn to the line in a hurry. He'll come out throwing on first down. Working the middle. And he's brought down after a nice game. The crowd getting behind this defense as they try to get a stop in the red zone. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. He's got it on the run. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. He'll pull it on the read. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Fights his way for a couple, but stops short of the marker. It's fourth and one. They'll lead the offense out there to try to get it past the marker and pick up the first. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Fans are bringing the noise on first and goal. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. And he didn't have a whole lot of operating room after the juke, and he stopped for a short game. Now second and goal, and right in the teeth of this noise. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. He works his way ever closer, all the way down to the one-yard line. Quarterback run is part of their game plan. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Here comes the field goal unit. A really short kick, but you've got to have that angle just right. And it's no good. He missed it. And guys, after the miss, no change in the score. 
can't miss opportunities like that. You're playing on the road in a hostile environment. You're trying to seize momentum right out of the gate. You get a nice drive to start the game, and then you miss the field goal. You don't get any points to show for that. If they're going to win this one, guys, they've got to take advantage of those types of opportunities. He'll do it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Back to throw, it's Green. And he is snowed under, sacked at the seven. And you're seeing the pass rush on the second play of the drive. They dial it up. Look at the speed and athleticism this defense has as they corral the quarterback for a loss. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Man, you talk all week about setting the tone, quieting this crowd. Don't let him get involved. You know how you do that? Get a sack and force a punt on the first possession of the football game. That's a heck of a start for this defense. And the Razorbacks will bring the punt team onto the field. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He gets the first one off, and he was busier than he hoped in that loss last week, being called on five times. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Looking for room. It's Cobb. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quick handoff. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And the running game has been going in the wrong direction. They'll try to get their first positive play of the drive here on third down. Catch in the middle. It's Riley. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. On the way, and you betcha, a 59-yard field goal. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here for them. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this field. They get him stopped at the 32. That's a gain of four. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Well, they keep it on the ground. Really nice pick up there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. That's the end of the quarter, and Auburn has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. The Razorbacks have it with a first and ten. The give from the gun. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Off the bootleg to buy a little space. Finds the tight end. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Looking for a man. It's Green. Quickly to the tight end. And he couldn't right get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. And the Razorbacks will call on their punt team. 
This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the ball will bounce at the four and find its way into the end zone for a touchback. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, at least, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. They're going to go right back to him on first down. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. They get him stopped at the 32. That's a gain of four. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Fires one high and deep. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. Auburn sends out the punting unit. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. Free snap motion in the backfield. He's got him in the flat. He was not going to be denied, discarding tacklers, running behind his pads, and finally down to 40. Looking for room, it's Hill. Tackled at the 45 after a five-yard pickup. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. Right back to the well. You'll take this every time, five yards on the first down play. They'll line up for a second down play. From the gun, running back gets the give. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. The Razorbacks are on the move. Give to the running back. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Back to throw. It's green. Got his man down the middle. Well, you hear all the time that the tight end's the QB's best friend. You saw a perfect example of it on that last play, right? Second down, you need to pick up some positive yards to keep this third down manageable. Really nice job of executing that. Got it in the middle. It's hot. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. And I really like when offenses attack over the middle of the field. Between the linebackers and the safeties, there's usually a soft area that you can usually have some success. And really nice job on this offense taking advantage of those areas. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Trying play action. Into the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Razorbacks. What a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Iowa State is in serious trouble right now. I hope that coach is renting and not buying there in Ames because that could be a bad investment. They're trailing by 14 to Kansas. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. It. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Here's the handoff. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. How nice is it in an offense when you can generate explosive plays by running the football? You got to force feed this guy, man. He is an absolute game changer.
Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Looking deep. And he pulls it in inside the 15 yard line. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. We've reached the two minute warning and we have ourselves a ball game and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. Wants to throw on first down. Let's it go to the end zone. And he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity, but it's incomplete. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Let's it fly. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. They score for the big fella here. Why are tight ends so effective in the red zone? Well, these aren't the guys that are going to burn by you and go for 70 most of the time. But when you can use their big body frames, threaten them to run the football and be a blocker in the running game, and now you slip them in the secondary and make that big play. And the extra point gives them a three-point lead at 10-7. to seven. So it's an 80-yard drive. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. Steps away. On the move at the 30. And a nice pickup on the run and gets down to avoid contact. And the Razorbacks are in the hurry up. Looking to move it through the air. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Here comes the offense on second down. Looking to throw its green. Quickly complete. Really nice pickup there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. Trying to find his man on first down. He finds a soft spot in the middle. Make the stop at the 40, but he's got 15 yards on that one and a first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Complete to the left. And a flag flies as the pass is incomplete. Let's see who it's on. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Line getting set on second down. They keep attacking through the air. Got his man downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. The Razorbacks with the first and ten. He wants to throw. Finds his big tight end. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Going to work on second down in the red zone and still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas. Each and every week I think this coaching staff does such a good job of scheming ways to get this guy the football in the passing game. And defenses can't cover him. But that last catch is now his 10th receiving touchdown on the season. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. Robinson looking to pass. He'll try to do it himself. 
defense is all about creating negative plays. And he does a really good job at the quarterback spot of not taking sacks. Like, that's a great job. He wants to throw the football. The clock goes off. He takes off. He gets a positive game. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Fayetteville. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Razorback Stadium. And the Razorbacks will kick it away to crank up the second half. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. He'll keep it himself. Now, after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. After the run, second and medium. They'll give it on the counter. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. They'll try to bully their way for the first. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. He'll pull it on the read. Pass the sticks, and he may get more. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. The Razorbacks are moving quickly down the field. Now they're going to throw it. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. Looking to pass. It's green. Slide. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And it's such an advantage for this defense to have an outside linebacker like that that can rush the passer because they can set the edge. They can get off the ball, and they're just way too fast for tight ends or for offensive tackles to get out and block them. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. He's looking downfield to throw. And he feels the heat coming, and it burns him up. Another sack. Nice job by this defense. That's the way to set the tone in the second half. First drive, get him in a third down, get the sack, get the football to your offense. That is how you get back in this game really quickly. And the Razorbacks no, will no, line no. up to punt it away. Takes it on the return. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. And now the offense will come onto the field again. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. Now the play fake. He's going to throw deep right side. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. Touch pass on the run. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The aerial assault continues. And here's a fumble way behind the line. He's got the ball, and he'll try to pick up a few. 
Good presence of mind by the quarterback there to not panic when the ball went on the ground and able to get it back. I would just like to see better ball security, Reese, from the quarterback, too. You know, you got to keep two hands on the ball at all times. It doesn't matter. You're looking downfield. You know you're going to have guys around you trying to swat away at the football. You've got to keep two points of pressure at minimum on that ball. The quarterback lucky to follow that. Wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Pocket starts to collapse. Bottle little time. Let's it go. Offenses know and work on it all week. Third downs. Third downs. We've got to be really, really good. This offense not good on this third down. It could come back to bite them. On the move, looking for a little sliver of hope. The coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. He'll do it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Robinson will throw. Pressure coming. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. Auburn's going to have to send out the punt team. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Slips through the line. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stops. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Caught on the outside, it's Satekna. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. They'll test the right side. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Gets rid of it. Snagged in the middle. It's high. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. They're going to run it to the right. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. It'll be a draw. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. It's a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The Razorbacks decide to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. The quick out. He's run out of bounds, but not before turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down.
That's the end of the quarter, and Arkansas has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Leaves it with the back. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Power football with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. Robinson looking to pass. Good timing on the quick out. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Hand off to the single back. It's just so nice to know you can start off on the first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Trying to impose their will with the run. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. The Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll leave it with him. Nice move to keep running. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. On the run, it's White. Down to the 26-yard line where the tackle is made. Pick up a five and a first down. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Under pressure, and down he goes at the 33. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. That last play, the kind of thing that can mess up a really good drive. It's second and 17. He's looking to throw. Fires downfield. Complete to the right. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that. Touchdown, Tiger. And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. And that's why this running back is so dangerous. It's not just handing him off the football, but he's a weapon in the passing game. You see his, his ability to catch it, turn up field, make people miss, and find the end zone. Needs this one to push the lead to a field goal. And it's good, and he's got the lead up to three late. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Terrific showdown this week, guys. Let's take a look at what's going on. Wisconsin has the lead right now. Feels like Bucky's been doing a share of push-ups, but they haven't been able to pull away. They're up by 10 over Iowa. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. Holds and fires complete to the right. Out across the 30, marked down at the 35 after the 10-yard gain. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and 10. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal gain. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Give to the back. Showing off the arm. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Looking downfield, it's Green. Flushed out of the pocket. And he's brought down after a nice game. And the Razorbacks have this offense rolling. Quarterback on the keeper. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. 
Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. He leaves it with his back. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. A touch out of field goal range. They need to pick up yards quickly on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Coming after him. He's going to run it. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running room and move the chains. Looking to go up top on first down. Fighting off the defender. Just couldn't find an open man. He'll get rid of it, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He's going to pass on second down. Makes a connection. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Running behind that left side. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag on the field. Holding, 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 holding. Open. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. He'll set up to throw. Quickly complete. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They want to just keep throwing it. Quick strike complete. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. So the opportunity with a touchdown here to take a fourth-quarter lead. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence if this offense is going to make a play. Touchdown, Razorbacks! And they've moved out front here in the fourth. What a great job by this offense. And listen, I judge offenses by what they do in the clutch. In those big moments right before the half, in the fourth quarter late in the game, just like right here, you need a score. you got to go take the lead. They do everything they can now. Defense, you're up. I need you to get me a stop. They'll try to tack on an extra point here deep in the game. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. Caught over the middle, it's Thompson. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Thompson. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the air on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Picked off. Couldn't find a ton of room on that return to that small change. They take over at the 43. That might be the nail in the coffin, fellas. This offense, they're trying to get back in the game. You're having to be aggressive. You're now going to have to start taking chances. An errant throw ends up in the hands of the defense, and I think that's all she wrote. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. And now, Jesse, the art here is to find the balance between milking the clock and trying to get another score. I think if you're the coaching staff, too, you like to see your team play its best in the fourth quarter, right? Defense just did their job, so offense now, David, has to go out and handle their business. Yeah, you got the momentum. Because of the defense, they've given you some momentum. They've given you a great opportunity to take hold of this game and really put a stamp on it. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Dropping back, it's Green. Keeps the play going. Has no choice but to throw it away, and it'll bring up fourth down. The Razorbacks send out the punt unit. And that one will sail out of bounds. No chance for a return there. 
They've got them pinned back, and they're trying to rattle their eardrums. Listen to this crowd. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pit. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Looking down the middle, a strike downfield. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. They'll throw it on first down. Quick completion on the out. And he wisely gets out of bounds. The clock can be the enemy right now, and this offense needs to get some points. He knew exactly what they needed there, made the play, and got out of bounds to stop the clock. And you got to keep this turbo mode on, right? We got to keep going fast. The clock's running down. Fourth quarter, need a score. Great execution to get the first down. We need a lot more of this on this drive. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. He spikes it, clock stops as they try to rally late. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. On second down, they'll take to the air. And it's incomplete. It was wild, high and wide on that one. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. Looking to the big tight end. Touchdown, Auburn! And in the final moments, they've taken the lead. Really good execution by this offense. Late in the game, under a minute, score to take the lead. It's what you draw up. It's what you dream about. But now, my defense has to go on the field and get me one more stop. This one's big to make sure they can't beat you with a field goal. And it's good, and he pushes the lead to three. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll take a knee. It's a touchback save every second he can as they try to put together this final drive. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. Pulls it in. It's green. Excellent job working through the air. They're finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. The offense takes a timeout with 30 seconds left. The sweet feet buy a little time. And the 40. There he goes. Timeout called by the offense. 24 seconds left on the clock. Looking to throw. It's green. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. The give. That's a 20. He's got space. The offense uses a timeout. 15 seconds left to play. And this field goal attempt might be their chance to save themselves. Absolutely perfect. Final minute of play all locked up. Are we headed to overtime? And he knocks another one through. And how about this kicker? Good way to start off your season, right? Like, what do you have at the spot? Sometimes you don't know. Can he make those kicks? Starting off, hasn't missed one yet. Been very dependable for the squad. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Needed just a little more help to turn that into a big return. They'll mark him down at the 29. They'll get this drive started from the 29. On the ground, it's white. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. 
Four quarters, not enough to settle this one. We are headed to overtime. And these teams have played so well, back and forth, evenly contested game. How about a little free football, Jesse? Yeah, I love this, Dave. Free football and finding out which of these two teams is the most mature. Who can settle down now with the game on the line and make the big play? All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And it's so nice to be on defense first, just to set the tone, to understand what you need. Try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to go out and get a win. Just two possessions, Paul. We're like, you got to be at your best. Yeah, and I love the new rules, too, because in the third overtime possession, it goes to alternating two-point plays back and forth. Who's got anything left in the tank here in OT? They're getting this guy lathered up. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. This crowd knows they have to bring it in big moments, and one of those has arrived. Robinson will throw. Working the middle, it's complete. That throw and catch gets him down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. Here comes first and goal as they try to strike here in overtime. Got it behind the line. It's Riley. And that will go backwards. A negative play in that defense on high alert that time. The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. A gut check on the doorstep. Third and goal here in overtime. They believe in their running game on third and goal here. And this one will be stopped for no gain. So they'll send out the field goal team to try to take the lead here in overtime. He got it. And with that, they've taken the lead. Down by a field goal and a touchdown will win it. Let's see what they've got on first down. They go to the ground. Nifty little dance step. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. They'll ride the hot hand. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now on third down and at the very least, trying to get into a little better field goal position. Going for six. He got it in. A walk-off touchdown in overtime. How about this offense coming out and executing so great, knowing what they needed. They were on defense first. They knew exactly what they needed to do. Come out, they get the throwing touchdown, end the football game right now. Nice execution by the offense. And that play right there, David, really encapsulates, I think, the identity of this team. They're going to fight and scratch and claw to the very end to get it done. Great job executing here late in the game to get the win. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.